from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are raising concerns in the Asian region. People in these countries are worried about the safety of uh, Japanese food. South Korea's ruling party has proposed a ban on imports of Japanese marine products. An export, bla uh, expert rather, blames a lack of explanation for the action. On the impact of the accident on marine uh, organisms, NHK World's Yoichiro Tatehiwa has more. The situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant seems to be worsening two and a half years after the accident. The operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, admits that radioactive groundwater has been discharged into the sea. The government is taking steps to prevent groundwater from seeping into the ocean. TEPCO officials have found high levels of contamination at the port inside the premises of the nuclear plant. But they say the contaminated water has been shielded and will not leak into the sea. In fact, Monitoring of the ocean has not detected any high levels of radioactive contamination. <laughs> Professor Jota Kanda has been studying ocean contamination of Fukushima since the accident. He says other countries have not had a chance to properly assess the data. People outside Japan don't have basic data, such as the levels of contamination of seawater and marine organisms, and what regulations the government has imposed. The prefectural government is restricting coastal fishing and measuring radiation levels in fish catches. It is also restricting shipments of fish caught offshore. Shortly after the accident, radiation levels higher than the government safety limit of 100 becquerels per kilogram were found in more than 50% of fish catches. This figure has dropped to 2% now. Japan's safety limit of 100 becquerels per kilogram is the toughest in the world. And local government officials say there is no problem with the safety of fish shipped from the prefecture. But concerns are still being raised at home and abroad. Kanda is critical of the way TEPCO and the Japanese government are dealing with the issue. People around the world see the Japanese as trying to understate the impact of the Fukushima accident. They think we just keep saying our food is safe without showing them any proof. And I see their point. He says it will be difficult to dispel people's concern if TEPCO and the government don't change their response. Radioactive substances still remain in the sedimentary soil under the sea. We still don't know how harmful it is. The situation is better than on the land. But the concerns of people in other countries are quite understandable. We need more transparency in research. Once we obtain credible data, we must share them with other countries immediately. That's the only way we can regain their trust. Kanda says the participation of foreign researchers in the study of Fukushima will help to increase the credibility of the research. He believes the only way the Japanese government can restore confidence is to conduct a thorough study and disclose the result to the world. Okay.